So good evening, everyone. Christ has brought us out of darkness to live, to live in his wonderful, wonderful light. light. We really do welcome you here to this absolutely unique Christingle service. And we certainly hope that you will be blessed. And during this service, we're going to tell you lots of different ways that you can use those Christingles to share that light out into the community themselves. So we're going to light our candle. Well, Rachel's going to light it in a socially distant manner. Um, today, we remember Jesus and the promise of his coming and the story of his birth and the visit of the wise men and his presentation in the temple. Jesus is our King. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is our way. With Jesus, even the dark places are light. Jesus is the truth. In Jesus, we shall live forever. Jesus is our light. Time for Christine will make you now, Scott. I think it is. You didn't introduce yourself, Ah, uh, Well, I'll keep it quiet. So, <laughs> uh, I'm Scott, I'm the organ here on placement at, uh, at Hatfield. Uh, I'm really happy uh, to be here and doing this service with Rachel. Uh, and I'm looking forward to next year when we've all been vaccinated, uh, getting to know you all a little bit more. Fantastic. Well, I hope you all know me. If not, my name's Rachel and I'm the Youth, Children's and Families Worker here at St Lawrence and today we're going to be making our Christingles so I hope you've all got your bags and um, if so, look out your oranges and um, you should all have your red tape already on your oranges um, if not, find some red tape or some red ribbon and we're going to put that around the orange so uh, we make Christingles with an orange and the orange represents the whole world and we know that God loved the whole world so much. And whilst I put the red ribbon on, the red ribbon reminds us of God's love for the whole world and the blood that Jesus shed for us on the cross. So even though it's Christmas time and we like to think about baby Jesus being born, we need to remember all the time that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So now we've got our orange with our tape on, we're going to want to cut a hole in the top of it. So you might need to get your adult to help you and um, go and find a knife. And um, if you want, you can also get a little bit of foil to go under the candle to catch any wax that drops down. Um, now I haven't practiced this. I probably should have. Um, <laughs> but I mean, Messy Church Live always is just done live in the morning, mistakes and all. So I hope you're having fun at home. And um, we're gonna cut a nice hole in the top of our orange for our candle to go in. The other thing that I have forgotten is a candle spot. How bad is that? I will um, go on a hold. If you would open the door, there might be some still yeah. left outside. So, we've cut our hole for our candle. We're going to put the candle in. Now, the candle is one of the most, it's the most important thing. The candle represents Jesus being the light of the world. And that is what Jesus came into the world at Christmas time. And he brought light in the darkness. And you know what? This year, I think we need that a little bit more, don't we? Because it's been a really dark year. Jesus coming and Christmas time reminds us that there is light in that darkness. There is hope, even when things aren't going well. Even when you forget your candle on the table. Look. Jesus. Fabulous. So, we are going to put our candle in the top of our festival. And then the next thing we're going to do is get our, our sweet sticks ready. So you need four cocktail sticks. Is my phone being there? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> did you check the waiting room, Scott? I will check the waiting room. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So we've got our four cocktail sticks. And you should have a bag of sweeties. I've got some Haribo. If you've not, go and raid your cupboard. Um, you might also have some raisins as well. It's good to put fruits of the earth on our on our cocktail sticks. Now there's four cocktail sticks and we represent the seasons and all the different things. Now I asked you what was your favourite season? Uh, each season has good things and bad things that come with it and each season is valuable for its own reason. If we've only had summer 
then plant some things we'll have a rest in the winter. If we only had autumn, we'd have no green leaves. If we only had winter, well, we wouldn't, we'd, be, we'd be really sad because we'd have no sunshine and no summer holidays. So onto each stick, you want to put at least two things. So I'm going to put ooh, a gummy sweet on that one and a jelly baby man on the bottom. So get all of your cocktail sticks ready with their sweets. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, and there you go. That one's on there. I've got one more left to do. I hope you're doing all right at home. Got one more jelly baby man. One more thing. So I hope you've got some raisins on there as well to be healthy. Um, and they were, and the, these reminders are the good gifts that God gives us. You know what, even in the midst of darkness, there are good things, things that we can be thankful for, our family, our friends, the amazing people in the NHS that have gone above and beyond this year to look after us. And then we're going to put them in our oranges, it's the fun part, sticking them in our oranges, but we want to make sure that they stick out in the four different directions. Look at that. So I hope your Christingle is looking as good as mine. I'm going to want to see some photos. So if you take some photos, do put them on our Facebook page or send them to me. And we're going to try and include them on our Christmas Eve service as, as, part, as a backdrop to one of our carols. Um, so I think that's our Christingle made, Scott. I think it is. Is that all right? Is, is everything going all right tech wise? Everything's going all right. <laughs> I hope you can still hear us at home. If not, do let us know. Um, and so, I don't know, is there anything you want to add to our, our Chris Stingle message? I think we should sing our song to, uh, to get a bit more of our Chris Stingle message. Fabulous. Well, I'm just going to go and cue our song. Jesus, 
bringer of light to children and young people. We pray for young people who are in dark situations. Shine your light on those who feel hopeless, afraid and without hope, that they may have a bright future. May we look to your example, not excluding anyone because of age, but accepting all those we meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bringer of light to the helpers, we pray that you would be with those who support young people. Shine your light on teachers and carers in our community. May they know your blessing upon them. We pray for the work of the Children's Society and all those who support their work with vulnerable young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And joining the whole company of heaven with the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And I'm going to, uh, well, let's, let's blow out the candle for a moment. <laughs> if you've got somewhere safe to put it, do put it somewhere safe. Yeah, yeah. And Rachel's going to give us our notices, and then she's assured me she's going to give a, a great demonstration of dancing that I will assess from a corner somewhere. Hi boys and girls. So before we have our notices, um, you might know that Christingle is organised and helped by the Children's Society. Now in your boxes, I can see some of you have already found your candle collection boxes. So if you find them, you can put it together um, and we're going to try and collect some money um, to support the Children's Society. I'm going to share a video in a second, um, which explains a little bit more about the work of the Children's Society. And then after that, I am going to bring you some notices and that song, as Scott has promised. So just give me a second and I'll get the video ready to show you. Disadvantaged children and young people in the darkest of situations. We've all been through a lot this year. And unfortunately, disadvantaged young people have been some of the hardest hit by the pandemic. For the young carers who have been shouldered with more responsibility than ever. The young people who have experienced devastating effects on their mental health. Or the missing children who have nowhere to shelter for the night. We need your kindness more than ever. Together, we can rekindle the hope inside these vulnerable children and provide the safety net they so urgently need. Your Christingle donations will help run vital services all across the country, helping children through one-to-one -one counselling and dedicated project workers. You can guide the most vulnerable children to a brighter future. The kindness of Christinglers like you will help bring hope and optimism to the lives of young people. Please give what you can today and let children in this country know just how much they matter. Thank you. Fabulous. So that is what we're collecting for. And if you fill up your candle tube, you can bring it back in February to our Messy Church. When, we, when you come and collect your Messy Church bags, you can bring it back then. Or you can bring it back on the 23rd of December when I'll be here at church to accept um, cheap trial answers and things like that. So, shall I do the notices from here? Scott, yeah, we'll do the notices from here. So, I've already mentioned the sheep trail. Put your hands up. I'm going to change now so I can see all of you. Put your hands up if you've done some of the sheep trail, if you've found some sheep. I can see some hands going up. 
I know lots of you have been out sheep hunting, which is fantastic. Well, there are still some dates that you can come and pick up your prize if you haven't already. You'll find a sheep trail answer sheet in your single bag as well. And you'll help Shepherd Stephen um, decide which sheep to give to baby Jesus as a present this Christmas time. Um, the, we also have an amazing Christmas Eve service, which we are planning. Um, and that's going to be broadcast live on YouTube at 5 p.m. on Christmas Eve. So you can get into your pajamas with your hot chocolate and you can watch that all together as a family. And that'll be really great. We'll share the link for that on our Facebook page closer to the time. But if you have um, made your Chris Single, um, it'd be amazing if you could take a photo of you with it and share it with us so that we can put that in one of our songs on the Christmas Eve service. Wouldn't that be amazing to have your face in the Christmas Eve service? We're gonna, that service will finish just before 6 p.m. so that you can go and join the Christmas Eve jingle, which I know is taking place on doorsteps across the UK. Um, and finally, we don't have a messy church um, taking place in January. Um, we don't have messy church bags for you to come and collect, but we're going to be setting up a special trail in the churchyard, a QR code trail. So keep your eyes out for that and come and take part in that. If you're going to use your Christmas signal, that's great. I know some people do use them on Christmas Day. Um, but just an idea this year, as you go into your final week of school, it might be worth actually taking your Christmas signal into your class, and giving it to your teachers so that it can be put on display every day. And just tell your friends all about it. And it's a fantastic way of just sharing that light of Christ out in our community. If you do want to eat it, eat your orange, we don't have any food waste, we don't want it to nope. go yep. bad. You could make it into fresh ice lollies if you just up the insides of your orange, or you could cut the orange into slices and dry it and decorate your house for Christmas with it as well. So lots of uses for your pistigle, it should not go to waste. Um, but do enjoy looking at it and thinking about what it means, especially for the next few days before you eat all of the sweets off it. If the sweets are still there, yep. not sure if they still will be. <laughs> So I think we've got a blessing and then I'm going to share um, a special video at the end as well. So I'll just sit over here so that Mark's going to share Well, we know that this service hasn't been artistical and usual, but we should be thankful that we've been surrounded by our loved ones. And we can be incredibly thankful that despite the fact that we are apart, the Holy Spirit has been with us. So let us go in peace. We go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love, and to reflect God's glory. Amen. And God bless you this Christmas. Let's make our Christingle. Who can we find to help us? We'll start with the orange. The orange represents the whole world. Next, we're going to add red tape around the middle of the orange. This represents God's love going all the way around the earth. We're going to take some sweets and put them on cocktail sticks. Then we're going to stick them in four points in the orange. This represents all the amazing good gifts that God has given us. We're going to carefully make a cut in the top of the orange and then we're going to place the candle in the top. The candle represents Jesus, the light of the world. And now our Christingle is complete. <laughs>